Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are taking a look at the XFX R9 Fury. Not the Fury X, but the Fury. With 1 GHz core clock and 500 MHz memory clock. So I ran a couple of benchmarks here. There is from nice hash. So you can get an impression uh, of what this card is capable of. So on Ethereum we have 27.9 mega hashes. So that's actually lower than my fully modded 480 does. However, I didn't overclock, underclock, or did whatsoever with this card. So this is just out of the box. So in Decred we got 1.5 gigahashes. However, I saw some power limit limitations there, so the core clock didn't reach the full 1000 uh, megahertz, but was around 800 to 900. So if we increase the power limit, we might see some higher value on this number. So then, 70, 700 hashes on kryptonite, this is actually really nice. I think my 390X there's only 600, so this should uh, come from the extreme memory bandwidth of 512 gigabytes per second. And we got uh, Albury, uh, Pascal, and X11 Ghost. We now go ahead and choose not the nightish mine and dealer, do it stuff, and choose the most profitable one. We land at Decred Miner What? Ethereum. Okay. So let's actually check the VRAM usage while we mine here. Now that this card is the main card that's in the computer. So right now we are at 1.6 gigabytes. Not too much actually. Memory controller load at zero percent. That's not really much. Okay, let's maximize this. Yep. So we are mining Ethereum with about twenty-eight point two mega hashes. But the interesting stuff is really why is the memory controller not loaded at all? Is this version, this is the newest version, GPUC, GPUZ 2.1.0, and we don't see any memory control alert here. I don't know why, I, I thought this is just a general sensor, but we don't get any information here. Hmm. Let's check out what the max was. You represent create. Okay, so let's start some tinkering. I'd say let's open MSI Afterburner and check out some stuff here. All right, so he ate that. Eleven hundred, and let's check our speed. Maybe our speed will increase, maybe not. Yes, it did. So now we are at 31.2 mega hashes. You can see that also here. That's great. Okay. So now let's try some. Okay. Some memory overclock. Okay, did that as well. Now let's check out whether we get some actual speed improvement here. So the tools are reporting that we increased the effective GPU memory clock. But all we see is zero point 
increase of the hashing rate. So 31.7. So what does this mean? We are heavily GPU bound here, not really memory bound. Overclocking the memory didn't uh, give us much of an improvement. Although we are at 665 gigabytes per second now. How is that number calculated? Well, it's the both width 4096 bits multiplied with the memory clock of 650. So we are uh, at the speed now. Yep, and it's it's quite stable at 31.7. Uh, I don't got any ma screen flickering as well, so I guess this is stable. Great. Now let's check out whether we can improve this a little bit. I mean the temperature is already great because the last third of the GPU backplate is open so the, the edge can just venture through there. That's why we see those low temperatures although this is an air cooled card. But now let me try to increase this further. Let's try 30 here. And 1140 here. And bam. Okay, so now we are power limited again. That's sad to see. Now let's check our hash rate. So now we are at 32.3 and that's also what's reported here. So now let's check our memory usage again. One point seven gigabytes. That's actually near nothing. Great. That's doing Dega Hajimoto. So I expected some higher VRAM usage. Well well. I don't care. Okay, temperature is really low. So let's try increasing our power limit a bit. Yep, so now we can keep it stable at 11.40. Now let's check our hashing rate again. Yeah, baby, we're nearing 33. We're now at 32.97 or even 0.99 in the Dagger Hashimoto. Great, we broke, we just broke the 33 for a second there. It's the first time I see a car doing this uh, on my own. I think the 980 Ti, uh, the 1080 Ti is a little bit faster. Uh, but you know, I'm quite happy with this, with these results. So let's let's reach into unstable territory. <laughs> let's give it a little bit more. 11.50 Now we are at 33.5 The minus says that as well So this is actually a little, a little fun to me Anyways, I, I don't think this uh, this will be stable because sliders on the maximum are usually not stable but I'll just let this run for a while maybe I got a golden sample, let's check the ASIC quality oh wow that's super poor 
super duper poor. Huh. <laughs> okay. Though this should mean that it will scale good with voltage. I'm just not too sure whether it will be stable for 24-7 usage without restarting and everything. I thought just let's just try out maxing everything out. So I went for max core voltage, some power limit. Oh, I, I just see that this is not enough. Let's go for 40. Full memory clock, 1200 core clock, 50C at high fan speed. Now you can see and look what we got 34.3.5 mega hashes 0.8 and it didn't crash to me yet okay I just started it but this is just for uh, scientific purposes what you what uh, you can expect at absolute maximum from this card. Okay, so it just crashed. So I'd say let's just dial back to stock and stay safe here. But as soon as I know more, I will report back. Until then, we enjoy this. See you next time. Bye bye. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. That helps a lot.